Hello, this is Rabbi Betzalel Edwards here, and it's the day after the holiday, Yisru Chag. Uh, the holiday was Sukkot and Simchas Torah, um, the celebration and the rejoicing over the Torah. We dance with the Torah, and what do we do? We drink, okay? Not too much, because it's forbidden to be drunk. Um, the, uh, there's a cigarette. And sometimes we smoke, not too much because it's forbidden to kill yourself. Okay, so suicide is by 90% of the rabbis say it's, 100% of the rabbis say you can't kill yourself. Um, the court may or may not be able to kill you because we don't have a temple. Maimonides says, Maimonides says you, we don't have any capital offense. So, so the Jews he killed himself from Masada or Masada. Uh, Ari is asking, uh, yeah, no, you can you can kill yourself if uh, in Masada that's a different situation because uh, why did they why did they there was only one person in Masada who actually killed himself they because that's a more serious sin to kill yourself than to kill somebody else rather than be taken captive by the Romans being forced to serve idols and uh, and and do licentious perverted activity and uh, what's the other one and kill and be taught to kill and and wantonly shed blood they they decided it was better. Better that we die than have to live a life like that. So they, uh, the, the men killed everybody, and then one man was left, and he killed himself. Okay, okay, but another subject. Um, we're talking about Simchas Torah. Um, what were we talking about again? It got me so confused. Okay, I wanted to talk about the uh, subject of the day is not you know, killing yourself. Uh, suicide, suicide is forbidden because only God can take a life. Only God. Or if somebody has capital offense and you have the temple and you have the courts, then if somebody, if a murder, somebody who murders and there are witnesses and there's due process, somebody could be uh, put to death. Um, in very extreme, there are just self, uh, self-ruling Jewish communities have certain ways to take care of people who are murderers and rapists also, which may or may not include killing. They're usually just taken to the mikvah, if you know what I mean. Okay, so <clears throat> another way to kill yourself is to use bad language. Bad language is a way of killing yourself. Some rabbis say it's forbidden to smoke a cigarette because it's like, it's like suicide. But give me a break. Why? Because smoking causes cancer. You smoke, you're causing one's, one's own bad health. It says, Ushmartim et nafshotechim. You're supposed to guard your health. Right? It says twice in the Torah. Ushmartim et nafshotechim. So, guard your soul. Keep, keep your soul healthy. Soul, nefesh also means physical. Physical soul, like, in the, like the blood. Keep your blood healthy. So, um, where were we? Bad language makes the blood boil. Boil, boil, and boil. So if you want to say a swear word, what we do is we use Loshen Nikia. Um, Loshen Nikia is clean language. So you want, you got, somebody's a real bastard, and you get really mad. If you're a big tzaddik, you don't express your anger, you go punch your pillow. However, if you're a regular guy, you don't say, and if you want to, you want to say a swear word to him and curse him out. If you, instead of saying, excuse me, I'm going to use the word so you know which word I'm talking about. Instead of saying, fuck you, you say, F you. F you. Or duck you. Or go duck in a lake with a duck. Something like that. It's called, it's, it's elevating the language. Why? Because what separates us from animals? One of the things that separates us from animals is speech. Yes, animals, they have some kind of speech. Yes, I know, it's in a certain way. But the power of speech is the, the, the hallmark. It's the biggest uh, whatever. It's the, what's the word? It's the fait accompli. No, that's not the word. It's the... It's, it's the pinnacle ability of the human soul to use the power of speech. Speech has a soul to it. 
and, and speech. It says, King Solomon said, Chaim umavet b'piyah lashon. This life and death is in the hands, Chaim umavet b'yad lashon. Chaim umavet b'yad lashon means life and death is in the hands of the mouth. The mouth can kill and the mouth can give life. There's, there's a time to kill and there's a time to give life. But we don't want to, we don't, we do everything we can not to kill. Because only God should kill. Right? It says, thou shalt not kill. Right? We want to give life. We're about life. So live and speak well and enjoy yourself. I love you. Be well and have a happy holiday. This is Betzal Edwards on Isra Chag, the day after the rejoicing of the Torah, still keeping the the celebration going and have a joyous year and a life, a Lebedic year, a year full of life and be well and all of Israel and all of our friends in the Noachites should all, all be well and the whole world should come to a realization that we're all good and we can make the world very good.